Oh, welcome back to part two and Leviticus 11 and verse 12. Whatever in the water does not have fins or scales. Oh, sorry, 11 verse 20. All flying insects that creep on all fours shall be an abomination to you. Okay, so things such as flies and different uh, this is just talking about different bugs uh, you forgot it says insects it's not just birds but I guess you didn't read that you just got it off uh, answering Christianity.com Your Quran says that three things will make you uh, unclean for sex, and so do the Hadiths. One says that dogs, donkeys, and women will make you un unclean before prayer. Another says that uh, women poo and animals will make you unclean before prayer. And you're going to come and tell me about that makes them doubly unclean? No, it doesn't. What that is saying is that in their cycles, they are um, not to enter the uh, the temple. However, Christ kicked out men from the temple who were money changers. So in Christianity, it's not like, oh, they're just unclean because of what was their cycles, but he also kicked out men who were ripping people off in the temple. And as Galatians 3.28 says, there is now neither Jew nor Greek, male nor female, slave nor free, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Amen. It is in your religion that you don't have women prophets. It is in your religion that women cannot teach. It is in your religion that women are subhuman. Because can a woman have four wives? What is the reward for a woman in Islam when she gets to heaven? She becomes the reward herself for a man, being a sex slave for eternity. Will she get 73 men? No. This is Leviticus 12, 1 through 5. What about Shamgar killing 600 with an ox goad? That's in Judges 3.31. And uh, you can go a little further to Judges 15. Isn't it you who believe that flying birds went and dropped um, rocks on uh, armies that were trying to attack the Kaaba? And then after Muhammad, um, people who started using the Kaaba as a washroom to spit on Allah for making such a stupid claim that he would guard the Kaaba? And where's my answer? This is how Islam answers. It asks you questions about Christianity. And you know when I said to ask a Muslim about, uh, not to ask a Muslim about Islam because they practice taqiyya? Well, if they don't do that, then they'll divert the questions away from Islam and uh, bring them about Christianity as we see him doing. But all of these can be answered on, um, on, uh, uh, Karm.org or Tectonics or any of these Christian websites very easily. Verse 15 through 16. And it talks about Samson killing a thousand with the jawbone of a donkey. A seven-headed leopard in Revelation 13, 1 through 2. Okay. Let's go to that. Um, the other one, so we used it as a weapon and killed people with it. That's not really unlikely. Anyways, Revelation 13, 1 through 2. Then I stood at the sand in the sea, and I saw, saw a beast rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his horn ten crowns, and on his head a blasphemous name. Now the beast which I saw was like a leopard, so it's not a leopard, it's like a leopard. That's metaphoric language. First, you need to understand. His feet were like the feet of a bear, and his mouth like the mouth of a lion. The dragon gave him his power, his throne, and great authority. And I saw one of his heads, as if it had been mortally wounded, 
and his deadly wound was healed. And all the world marveled and followed the beast. So they worshipped the dragon, who gave authority to the beast, and worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast? Who is able to make m war with him? And he was given a mouth, and speaking great things, and blasphemies, and he was given authority to continue for forty-two months. Then he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. It was granted to him to make more war with the saints and to overcome them. And authority was given to him over tribe, tongue, and nation. All who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the, bo lambs, in the book of life and the lamb slain from the foundation of the world. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. He who lends into captivity shall go into captive captivity. He who kills with the sword be kill, um, must be killed with the sword. He who is patient and the faith of the saints, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Then I saw another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. And he exercised the authority of the first beast. And let me just go to where it says... Um, that the beasts are kingdoms and the heads are the are um, king uh, the crowns are thorns sorry the crowns are kingdoms and the heads are uh, no the crowns are kings and the heads are kingdoms where is that and so it's not talking about a literal beast but a beast kingdom because you see in those times they couldn't simply say um, the Arab tribes of the Middle East would be this beast and the roman empire would be the second beast or whatever it had to they had to use symbolic language so they wouldn't be killed for this because if god outright told you that this beast is going to be that well then of course they wouldn't it would change and alter history so the prophecies are embedded with symbolic and cryptic language for those who love god and will actually read the bible unlike you um where is it? And he deceives those who dwell on the earth. Da, 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 da. The first beast you saw, I think it's in Revelation 18. Oh yeah, here it is. Revelation 17, 8. The beast that you saw and is not and will ascend out of the bottomless pit and go... And go to perdition, and those who dwell on the earth will marvel whose name are not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world. When they see the beast that was not and yet is, here is the mind which the which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. These are also the seven kings. Five have fallen, one is, and the other has uh, not yet to come. And when he comes, he must continue a short time. Um, so that's talking about the so Revelation 17 talks about these two beasts and that they're not literal literal like seven-headed leopards but each represents a kingdom if you actually read the Bible you would have known that so it's quite clear you weren't a Christian and you were when you said uh, you know I was a Christian who converted to Islam there's your proof that you're practicing taqiyya Okay, the, this is not the Bible saying to go and do that. You see how falsely you are interpreting this? What it's saying is that if you, in these verses, in a few of them, it's saying that if you go to war, you're going to war against them, your enemies will surround you because you have forsaken the Lord and you've gone against his ways and therefore you will be captive in the walls and there'll be no food left to eat because you'll be under constant siege. And so... And so all you will be left to do is to eat your uh, extremities. But your prophet uh, told to drink donkey pee for medicine. This isn't saying to go and to go for everybody to eat and drink their extremities. But your prophet himself said to go and do that. And in fact, there's a hadith where. Your prophet used to keep his poo poo under his bed, where he used to, where he got a woman to drink his piss and said, "May Allah bless your stomach," 
And so, in fact, it is your religion that teaches that, not ours. What it's saying here is that, like I already explained, they were in a time of war, and they were behind the walls, and because they had forsaken God and gone their own ways, that they would be left to do such a thing. 